It's, a, it's already on the table. Oh, you mean for the YouTube? Oh, for okay. sure, for everybody. All right, shout out YouTube. Shout out everybody. What's up? So, what's up? Welcome back. Kicking it with Kilo and Q. Yes, sir. You already know. Today, we're all here with our homies. They're in the background. So, we just tell you who's all kicking it with us. We done, now. We done, now. AG's back as always. You already know. Our main man, P. Uh, you already know, my niggas. Yeah, so... You know how we do. Actually, this is our 20th episode, you know. I just thought about it. Shout out. You're going to forget it. You're going to forget about my dog over here, bro? Uh, he, he shouted out himself. The cameraman said, uh, he was the first one to talk. This guy's Yo, angry. yo. Club Studio 12. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, here. You Dang. Know. You. First one to talk. He's always, he's always holding it down, man. Stop it. Can't finish it. This is our homie, bro. All right. This is, he's making it seem like I'm this. You're this and this. All right. But you know what it is? Mac is always, like I said, it's our local 20th. Been here, you know, rocking, so you know, keep supporting, keep sharing, subscribing. Sure, you know, share shit up, show your friends. So, um, start the week off first thing first. A little, um, sad news John Singleton, great, great director, passed away. You know what I mean? Yeah, RIP to him. He made some classics, you know, some timeless movies. You know, boys in the hood. Man, poetic justice, poetic justice. Higher learning. Fucking Four Brothers, which is a movie everyone be sleeping on. I made mean, Four Brothers, you know. Four Brothers isn't a bad movie. A lot of people are sleeping that like he's the one that really gave Pac like an acting career. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like even for me, like when when I see that John Singleton wasn't a guy on the Pac on the on the Pac movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, that rubbed it the wrong like, way. This is gonna be this is gonna be trash. I know off the rip, it's trash. Like trash, trash, trash. You know what I'm mm. saying? But. Yeah, I repeat to him still, we don't have a lot of, hopefully we have somebody that can still take his place, you know? Yeah. Tyler Perry is the only other, like, real black, yeah. no, not the only, but no, you know, Spike Lee, yeah, but yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, Will Packer. But you know what I'm saying, like, who are making, like, those, like, real, real, I feel like Spike Lee's movies are real to an extent. They're oh, real, sure, sure, they're sure. real if, you're, if you're from where he's showing it from. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, New York niggas really feel Spike Lee movie because, like, in New York, like we don't have a T dot man like that. We don't have like you know what I'm saying. Mm. Just, but yeah, man. Yeah. So R.I.P. to him. So. Uh -huh. R.I.P. to that dude. Second off, you know, is um uh, going to some fucking. I guess we were going to basketball real quick. You know what I mean? Cause right. we just you know this we just finished recording. The Raptors just finished picking up the yeah, game. Yo, you yo. know they just tied up the series. They just tied it up. I'm still one foot off the off the bandwagon, but it's it, it, it's kind of you know. It's iffy. I'm riding with the rappers, but I'm just I'm riding like this. <laughs> I'm just on the bandwagon, just you know what I'm saying? No, but because yo, bro, this is a frustrating team, and going forward, like after me seeing championship teams, like I don't see that in the Raptors. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't see that like that hunger. I don't see that like you know. Yeah, Raptors be wilding, dog. Baby. Kawhi is giving that hunger, but everyone else, I don't know yet. You know, I don't know. They play good today, but you're right. The, the, the hunger is just not really there like that. But uh, at the same time, I can't let it slide. Yo, all the man them here. Need your opinion on this too, because the man's dissing our whole country, our whole city, eh? So ESP, no, sorry, for ESP, and he's on Fox Sports Network, black guy, mixed guy, and Colin Coward, they're both there. Said that Canada is soft, because they were talking about the Raptors, and they're like, oh, the Raptors are soft. Canada's soft, you know, Toronto's a pretty beautiful city, uh, there's, but there's just soft people. Who said that? Chris, some guy named Chris Broussard. Yeah. That, and that, Colin Coward. Hold on, Chris, Bru Chris Broussard, you're talking about the guy that, that, that looks like, that looks like um, the, the, the guy that Dave Chappelle plays? <laughs> when he pretends to be the reporter? Yes, that Chris Broussard? Yo, shout out my nigga, yo, shout out my, shout out my home, my brother Spawn, bro. This guy's one of the first bands that I hated this guy. He's like, yo, I hate Chris Bush. I just, I just hate looking at this guy. Like, what is he? Is he black? Is he white? Is he Spanish? Is, <laughs> like, like, is this nigga a nigga? Is he an alien? I'm like, yo, for real. Bro, the funniest thing is this. How are you going to call Canada soft because of the Raptors? But the Raptors are full of American players. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like, right. yeah, I don't know, man. That is foolish. I don't know. He sees, he sees the call. He sees the hockey culture. He sees all that stuff. So I don't know. I think he should come up here and visit us one day. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, 
and and see how soft we are. Come take a walk, you know. Come, come take a walk. Yeah, bro. You don't want to do that. Like I said, he's a he's an officer, officer. That's the type of guy he is. That's all good. Well, officer, officer. That's fine though. That's him. That's fine. Let him call them. And then we'll see how soft they are, you know. Yeah, they'll probably let him get beat up too. You're dissing the whole country, dog. Oh, for sure. This guy is killing me. We're going that guy. I give that guy too much props, though. Nah, I give him too much props. Well, you know what else I'm never over with? I feel it's a hot take to me, but I don't know about everybody else. Yo, Eagle Dog. Bro, this man's more important to Golden State success than people realize. Yo, he's me, decided. I feel like yo, he's, he's, he has just as much importance to that team's success as Draymond Green does. He gets none of the credit. Yo, bro, when I was looking, I was looking yesterday at the stats. I'm like, hold on, this guy's averaging like 15, almost 16 points a game. Shooting 75 percent. Oh yeah. Yo, not even just that fast. This guy can't get no love. Holy shit. I'm talking about from seasons before and everything too. Like other than like people want to say, okay, Finals MVP, blah blah blah. Bro, the reason to me why the Warriors lost when they when they went up three one. Remember who was injured? The first two games that they tied back the series, Iguodala and Bogut missed the games. Facts. And Iguodala, I feel like the, the LeBron James block when Iguodala went and brought, blocked the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah. If Iguodala's back wasn't hurting, he would have dumped that. It. But because his back's all, he's like, oh, LeBron's coming here. I, I can't just go up Boom. right away. But LeBron's like, nah, boom. LeBron pins him. Yo, LeBron, yo, that was one of the best blocks ever still. That was one of the best blocks oh, yeah. I've ever seen still. No cap. I was like, when I seen that, I was like, Came down. Yo, that was a sick place, though. <laughs> that was a sick finals, man. Yeah, so flip it. But you're right, though. Iguodala is very underrated. He's always been underrated, though. Like, because like even when he first came out in Philly, he was always kind of like, on like in the in in the shadows of AI. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Was like AI, AI two yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that shit. So it's like he's always kind of been that guy, and I think he kind of took it humbly, but. I seen a little documentary with him talking about when he first went to G State mm. and how it was hard for him because like. It was the first time he really had to take like a real bench role. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had to take a back hurt, seat. And it hurt his play until he kind of accepted it. And then he's and then he excelled. You know what I'm saying? So he's a humble dude still. I got respect for him, even though he's on the ops ass ops C op boy team. <laughs> but <laughs> you don't know. Ops op city op boy team. That's exactly what they are. Yeah. Fuck him, fuck KD, fuck Clay, fuck Steph Curry. <laughs> That's funny. Fuck everybody on that whole staff as a record label. <laughs> As a whole general management record label and as a crew. And if you like G State, then never mind. We love you guys. <laughs> well no, G State's doing their thing. Even KD right now is not getting his shine that he's supposed to be getting, but it's all good. But that. But G State. You're done. I don't want to talk about no more basketball right now, unless you do. Is there any more NBA thing? Oh wait, there is. <sighs> D'Angelo Russell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, my Yo, you know what's funny? I didn't, I didn't understand what really happened until I seen a prodigy of it. You know what I'm saying? A prodigy. A prodigy. A, prodigy? a parody. Pa wow. <laughs> yo, yo, put that out still. <laughs> a parody. A prodigy. A parody of it. But yeah. And that's when I seen that he was going through the airport? Yeah. Yeah. This guy's a foolish word. How are you going to go through the airport? A foolish yo, the way the guy's trying to yo. sneak trees. In an Arizona can, and you're not allowed to bring li liquids on a plane. plane. And that's what's funniest thing was, no one was thinking about that right away. Like, I wasn't even thinking about that. No one else was thinking about that right away. They're like, yo, how this guy get caught? Mm -hmm. nah, nah, nah. Then when they started hearing it, man just started pointing together and be like, yo, the dumbest part about it is you try to sneak contraband in contraband. Yeah. <laughs> like, that don't make no sense. Like, that's just Mayu, stupid. You're a fucking millionaire. Wherever you go, you can buy weed, bro. No fuck's wrong with you. I, I swear to God, that I pack was in that loud. I don't know how the weed is. <laughs> bro, I don't care what loud? you... Dog, you're a millionaire. You can get the loudest of the loud on the streets. No matter what, bro. That's Why are you sure. bringing it? You know what I'm saying? Not even that. That's you, you have You have everybody with you. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. On the carry out? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get stressed in the air when I ball up? This guy is wilding, yo. Get a PJ. He, yo, he get a PJ. better chance to get like, a PJ. keep it wrapped up in, you know, like a jersey. In his bag or some shit like that. Bag. Oh, yeah. He's not doing positive, bro. He wants to see some bum nigga shit, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I mean, okay. 
and all for the union stuff definitely with black people but there's still gonna always be disses and beefing and 50 is a nigga remember what i always say there's niggas half niggas half black and black folks 50 is not full nigga but he's more nigga than he is black so that's true he be white doing a dumb shit so but because I want to talk about this, is so sad, you know, we got to talk about some this. Right, I didn't hear any this is though. Just want to, nah, I just want to know y'all. Because, you know, obviously everybody, they always say, like, hit them off. And one ether is always, like, the greatest diss track. But, like, yo, to you personally, what do you guys feel is, like, one of the greatest diss tracks of Thank all time? Because I feel like like a very, a couple ones that are underrated. Like, I feel personally that like, Against All Odds is better than Hit uh, Hit'em Up. So, a Tupac's Against All Odds mm. is better than Hit'em Up. That's my personal opinion. I hear that, I hear that. And I like a lot. I always tell you guys that Cameron diss to Jay Z that you gotta love it, bro. I bump that track to this day. Is that with the Max B ripping up this guy? Yo, Max B has a top one of the top diss tracks to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which like, one? He has two of them still. Like he has. Which one? She touched it. He in touched it. Touched it in Miami. Mm. Oh that yeah. Was yeah. She touched it in Miami. And he had that um. Fuck, what's the next song thinking about, yo? Can't remember that one. I'll come back to you when it kicks back in. I'll come back in. What about Pusha T's Adonis, though? Yeah, you're saying that's all there. Yeah, that's all you're saying. I mean, this one? Dog, it like, was ruthless. It was, I've, especially I've, in this I've era. been through My, a lot. I've heard a lot and been through and lived through a lot of rap beef. And that one to me had some of the most poison and most venom, like the feel of it. Like just the way Pusha was talking, he. he this nigga came, like, he, he almost felt evil, evil genius with it, like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I feel you still, I feel you. That one was pretty nasty. Like, it was intentional, you know what I mean? But my all-time favorite diss track to ever drop, he got, like, well, he, ha he had one, and then you replace it with the next one. Mm. But it's Gucci, man. Which one? Oh, when he's in the, the uh, truth. Break? The truth, yeah, the oh, truth was yeah, the nastiest yeah, 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 this yeah, track yeah, I've yeah. ever heard. See? Yeah, he ripped up GZ and TI stuff. He even had, he even had yeah, 745. Dirt. Yeah, he even had yeah. third quarter, he even had bench work. Oh, no, but man. 745? 745 with a Gucci interior. I see a rich <laughs> nigga when I look in the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah. Gucci's off here. Can you guys have any nominees? Monday, bro. Super ugly? Super ugly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that cool. one's up there oh, for you, eh? Yeah, it yeah, was this shit. Okay. Is that your bitch? Jeez. Jay destroyed that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Prodigy on Hail Mary. I know y'all probably didn't even know about yeah, that one. I don't think I've heard that. We get that when he was dissing Jay Z. I don't think I heard that. No, oh, yeah? Yeah. J Jada Kiss Problem Child. Uh, yeah, that's up there. Oh, Beanie, Beanie Seagull. Seagull. Oh, oh, man. When he was going after yeah, Jada. Jada and Emma. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. bad. Yeah. 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 These are the ones that are not talked about. Yeah, yeah. You know, everyone always wants to talk about Hit Em Up and all of them. I even think low key, just off of creativity, the um, Jada's and Styles, Miss Jackson is ruthless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you're yeah, calling yeah. a man a bitch. Like, yo, you made yeah, a whole he, song. You're calling a man a bitch the entire song. Yeah, it's true still. That's mad issues. Yeah, that's true still. I think what guys should do is watch, um, I think you should watch a beef DVD series to go through all the different beefs that have started, like yeah. Lil Flip T.I. Yeah, 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 Lil Flip T.I. Nelly and Chingy. Nelly and Chingy. Nelly and who? Nelly and Chingy. Duh, I remember Nelly was beef with KRS1. All that. That sounds crazy. Yeah, but those were the foo-foo rap beefs. I love it when back in the day the rap music just weren't real at all. Yeah, niggas are getting like, stabbed at a war show and beat up and shit. Oh man, those are hip, yeah. Like, nah, that shit was crazy. Stuff. Nowadays when it happens, I, I know why. Obviously we don't want the violence and stuff. I'm not saying they have to be shooting each other and stuff. But back then there used to be more scuffles. So, some, yeah, you would hear about some more scuffles. Like, yeah, even Joe Budden got boxed by Raekwon and those guys. Like, mm -hmm. And people heard what he talks about and now we're like, you know what I mean? Like everybody like knows. So it's like, anyways, yeah, bounce off off that. Also, I was trying to talk more to the. Too much stuff. Oh, yo, real talk, yo. Are seminar scams? Like, some of these are, yo, I got rich, and let me tell you how to get rich. Like, are those scams? Or I was like, do you guys feel like those are like, there's value in that? You mean my seminar? Like, when you go out to one of those places and they're talking, and it's like, yo, this is how I got rich. Da 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 da. I know Instagram people are doing it now, or this is how I got off. 
played on Instagram, social media. Like, do you guys believe in those things? Like, do you think those actually like are vital? I think or, you like, could get the same re- the same. I understand the business ones. Business ones, I, I kind of feel are a little different. You know I, what I, mean? I think it's, I think it's like school. The, the 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 reason is not really to go there and take in, every, or like really like to be so inspired by this person because you're probably already inspired in that aspect already if you're going there. Mm. But I think the like the blessing of it is to go to a place that you now have like let's say 150 like minds on the same topic. Mm. So now if you're if you go there and deal with that property, you can network and maybe come out there with like six seven new contacts and now help your business and help their business whatever you know. Mm. So I feel like in that aspect. When you bring light minds together, it's, it's good. It's beneficial. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they're all there. Everybody's obviously hungry for something. So it's the right place to be. You know what I mean? But they don't really show you that. You're going to sit there and try and talk to somebody, give you refreshments, and then you go home if, you, if, if you're not really in tune like that. It's just like mm. school. You know what I'm saying? If you go to school and focus so much on the schoolwork and not, and not the freaking relationship, you're going to be fucked. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come out. Yeah, you're smart, but you're a weirdo. So even though you go to a job, you still can't excel because you have no people skills. You can only get to certain levels because, yo, you can't boss nobody. You can't even talk to your fucking your coworker. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you have to, I feel like you just have to know both sides of it. Something they don't teach you. Networking is like the fucking main thing in life right now. Why are you looking at me like that? Look at that, I'm listening, I've been told back. Nigga, you on the camera, my nigga, the fuck we on the show, dog? Yeah, Where niggas supposed to look at, like, yo, oh, that's a nice background behind him. <laughs> this nigga's head is mighty small. <laughs> yo, it's like, small, but it's big. Bro. Yo, I'm gonna start giving you the, I'm sorry, giving you the, the Will Smith on Carlton yes. Banks jokes, yo. The Will Smith on Carlton Banks. Oh, the shrinker, oh, you can't Yo, yo, remember, yo, remember Will's doing this one? He's like, <laughs> Chill out, dog. I'm not no fucking Carlton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try this mic. Your camera look. Fucking ass. I ain't put that in there. I'm gonna cut that fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> no worries. You have a blooper season. You know what I'm saying? This guy's trying to dodge the hate. Well, it's already on the fucking podcast now. That's what like, people are here. You need to see it on the cam. Z. Niger Beaks, bro. Nah, bro. Like you said, Niger Beaks. But yo, we gotta, Beakage, give a, yo. we gotta give a I shout got out to one of our soldiers that's not here, though. FTF Real One. Okay, okay. He just, he just joined, so, you know. Okay, okay. okay. Done, nah, man. Is there live on the gram, eh? Yeah. Live on the gram. What are you doing? What are you Since he's here, too, because this guy, me, this guy, we're talking about it, yo. Talking about what? About, yo, who is a better all-around shooter? He uh, was the one saying Steph Curry. He said Steph Curry. All-around I said shooter. Steph Curry, yeah. Oh, oh you no. said, wait. Then James yeah, Harden. Nah. If we're counting mid-range and layups. We're, we're talking about all, we're talking all about shooting around. in general, bro. All around, inside out. Who is a better shooter? Better all shooter. around game, all Last, around shooting. All that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, all, all around, around shooting, yeah, and like around, just in general. Hard. I'm game. going with Steph every time, no man. Way. Like yo, Harden is nice, but Harden no Harden throws up a lot. Like he'll just throw it. So but when Steph, Steph yeah, but when Steph throws it, it's still a high percentage oh, shot. Right. Like, you know yeah, but you gotta understand though that Harden's on the team by himself that he has to do that. Like, his team is, is, is ridiculous. I don't even like the style of ball, but that's you, what it is. Though. You just brought a whole different talk though. What do you mean? You just said team. Okay. We're not talking about team. We're talking about who's the best all around oh, shooter. You're right, you're right. But I'm saying no, for your team, mm-hmm. for the team that you're on, obviously dictates the style of game you're gonna play. So if you're on G State now that has fucking 70 other shooters around you at all times, it's very easy for you to get shots up. Where now James Harden can't sit there and get, like the, the amount of kickouts that James Harden gets wide open threes, it's way less than Curry. Kickouts? And, and Curry, and Curry is a better shooter. So it's like, why is Curry getting more kickouts to open threes than Harden? Because the team that he's playing on has a style that he's allowed to get these shots. So I'm saying if you're looking at shots all over the court, Hard as that guy. I'm sorry, but a man that can shoot 40 feet at like a 60 to 60, a 65 to 68 percent, I'm going with that guy. And that's Curry, bro. And guess what, though? At 40 feet, like that's half court, bro. He's a way better three point shooter. But if we're talking all around shooter, but what? But what's 40 feet to 15 feet, though? And I'm talking about shooting. Regardless. Right, that's what I'm saying. So you can't score it, 40 every time, though. How much, how much 40 point shots, how much 40 feet shots did he take? But that's what I'm saying. But he could do that, like, not easily. Easy, so a 15 if, if, feet. If he could, he would hit at least two or three of them a game. But he doesn't do that. 
Yes, he's he capable of hitting it. He's, done it, he does he's it capable of it. hitting it. Yeah, but he's not doing it regularly. He doesn't do it regularly. Yeah, he doesn't no, do it regularly. Right, yeah. I hear you on that. I, Bro, I said Harden. That's what I'm saying. Harden Harden inside is just as efficient. Yeah. Steph, I just watched Steph Curry miss a layup and then try to go for a dunking and stuff by the rim yesterday. I'm, I'm not, you can't ask me that today. <laughs> Harden, um, Steph Curry doesn't take mid range jump. This man tried to dunk and get blocked by the rim. In the clot, in the crunch time. Worst time ever still. Crunch time. That's stressful still. So that's some foo foo lame shit. What do you guys think, though? Yo? What do you guys think, man? I don't know, man, I'm all quiet in the back. It's Harden, I'm listening. You think Harden? It's better, yeah. yeah. All around? For sure. If you have to say all around like that, yeah. I'd say, I'd say Harden. Okay. I think you score a high, higher percentage all around. Yeah. You yeah. know, you put this clip. I'm putting this on the clip, too. You know, I'm all for the I'll take the L on that one. I'll take the L. I can accept the L on that one. Man, they're always yes. like, yo, yo, look at Curry, look at Curry's stats. No, Curry's, Curry's ridiculous. Like, nine, if we're talking nine, just nine, outside nine. shooting, obviously it's Curry. Like, three point shooting shit is obviously Curry. But if you have to account the inside mid range as well, even though Harden doesn't really take a lot of mid range, I've seen him used to do it. He does, though. Yeah. Harden does take a yeah, lot of mid range shots. Yeah, he does. Of... Bro, he does these ones. He comes in. That's like, mm. yeah. He gets those. He does those that or he does his little. He does his step back. He does, he does a step back uh, as well. So watch, Gon mm -hmm. Phillips says. But the man Curry. took a thousand threes this year. So don't tell me he take. He took nineteen hundred shots and a thousand of them were threes. So bro, don't tell me he's bro. taking a lot of. That's what. Like, that's but that, the man to took the most shots ever. I know. I'm not trying to disagree with that. The yeah, man takes the man, threes though. Nah, the man shoots the ball. This it's a watch Harden show every night. Hundred <laughs> percent. No disrespect to yeah, homies when I say this, you know. But it's like yo, if you're a baller, and 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 let's say like like like. You played in a Filipino league before that was like, you know, a lower end Filipino league and you're that big black guy. That's how it is with Harden in the NBA. They're going to just feed you the ball like, yo, go to work. Mm. Just go to work. Go we'll fill in. You know what I'm saying? But shout out my Filipino dogs. I ain't dissing, no? I uh, leave it sit still, but don't know what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> boy. What, what, yo, what, 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 what did Philip Don say? Oh, man. So he's, he's agreeing with me. He's like, Steph Curry, easy. Um... And this is Gon Phillip at Gon Phillip. Gon Phillip. Hard, yeah, yeah. Harden, Harden don't take mid range, mid range, mid range shots. He takes threes or layups or free throws. If you know, if you know Houston, they don't play for mid range. They play for threes, layups. Yeah, Mike D'Antoni yeah, system, like, G. Of course, he's still, but he's obviously but he not going to only take that. Of course, he's still, he has, he hits three times. Well, he hits mid range jumpers, bro. But we were talking. Were you just? Did you not watch the game? Like, the game, there's three games I just played against friggin. He's taking. Like, he takes a lot of threes. Bro. I ain't going for. I'll never. Right. The whole I'll never disagree threes. with that. That nigga will take twenty threes if he takes. Now, there's nobody who. There's no. I'm, there's, I'm not trying to see that the man consistently hit a mid. Like he's only shooting mid range. But for the when he hit, takes mid range jump shots and he goes to his mid range jump shot, which he's doing more often mm. than Steph Curry, he's more efficient at it. Not, you know what I'm saying? So my question is this, because we haven't seen it in a long time. Mm. Who and I, I'm asking everybody this: Who has currently the best jump shot in NBA? Period. Like yeah, in the NBA right now. Like a Allen Houston. You remember Allen Houston never was a, he wasn't a three point guy. He wasn't a dunking guy. Yeah. He was a jump shot dude. Mm -hmm. And that was his thing. So right now, who do you, who do you think? Me, I personally, I think Jimmy Butler. But who do you guys think I don't know. I'm has the Clay best Thompson. jump shot? I'm gonna say Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson too. That's Is a he, good it's one. either Clay Thompson yeah. or JJ Reddick. Or Reddick. That's okay. what I was thinking about. Was Those thinking two guys are just G. automatic, yo, pay up. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna get hit shots for you, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do really do too much, but hit shots at a high clip. JJ Redick still. I was thinking. Well, JJ you know, Redick. He's dog. He's dog. He's dog. He's dumb actually yo. The man is born to shoot. Crazy dog. dog. When you realize it, like. Yeah, when I used to see what this guy used to do with Duke back shoot. in the day, it was actually hilarious. Like, if you go crazy watch JJ shoot. Redick Duke footage right now, you'll start crying. He used to run around like eight screens and. Three caches. <laughs> Three caches. I'm gonna kill this is dog. 35 seconds in, in college, so you know. Yeah, for sure. It's down you can run back and forth like down, 20 times. Down to 24. Yo, I know what every man's gonna say here, so I don't even really wanna ask this question. So I'm gonna ask this for everybody, but I'm still gonna ask it. Yo, man's ever get yeah, their, like, their, okay, I'm not gonna say their girl, their wife, I guess. Girl, wife tattooed on them. Your name tattooed on them. Nah, nah. 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 You know me. I have you no have tats. to be. 
So I'm not getting any tats anyways. Yeah. I feel like it has I'm to be. Like, I feel like your real talk. If it's your wife. Real talk, it'd have to be like a, like a, like a, let's say like a 25 year anniversary, like, you know, like an anniversary thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like a down, like if we've been married yet. Yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> God forbid, no, what do you mean is she this guy said, yo, she dies there for sure. But like yo, I, I, I feel like that's what I feel like it is. At that point in your life, if you spend so much that much time with that person, regardless of if it's your lady or not, <laughs> that's just like yo. that's just like your dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's like one of your like your closest bridges. Even if it's like if it's a proper obviously a proper relationship, but mm. I'm saying regardless of that, like if you spent twenty five right, plus years or like say twenty name. plus it's years. It's not a name, me. it's a symbol, something that you only you guys Sure. Yeah, well, you, you guys. Well, you said, you said their name, even, right? But I'm saying, but I'm saying like, their name. Well, yeah, you just said their name. I would do yeah, that at first I said their name. I was more thinking okay, like something like a something that something. you guys yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a regular too, yeah, I would do that. I'd more say that still, yeah, yeah. But, nah. <laughs> I'm not getting no name. Yeah, the name thing, I feel you. I second that. I was maybe thinking like you guys get a little like, you know? Symbol or something like that. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you know, 23 or something. Yeah, yeah. Something. That's, your, no, that's the day you guys met. That's another night. She can tie my shit. She can tie my shit. She can tie my shit. I suck at that too. <laughs> yeah, obviously. No, no, you're real. I don't know, man. That's really all I had to talk about today. There's nothing too much popping. Oh, here's something popping. And I know if I say this, you're probably not going to play this on the shit anyways, but we're still going to say this. Yo, what's up, Facebook and shit? How you guys taking Louis Farrakhan? The honorable Louis Farrakhan off of your, off of your stuff, saying that he's, he's dangerous. Yeah. Why they moving like that? You didn't hear about that? No, that means they're gonna try and kill him soon again. Uh, Hope not, but yeah. Nice. That's just some foolishness. I thought everybody. You, you can have people promoting any... hateful speech, but you can't have people talking other stuff. Yeah, Come yeah. on, we can't do that. Uh, right. Society that we live in, bro. Times are changing. You know what I'm saying? Times are changing for sure. Then those Duval put today. So I'm going to talk about it because Lil Duval put it today. Lil Duval said um, that it's funny how he used to make fun of Michael Jackson's face. But now all the girls look like it. Look like it. <laughs> and, he's like, and, and then his caption was like, and he'd be fucked up because all the girls be like, oh, you look so good. Da, 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 da. And he's like, now niggas is doing it too. And I've been saying, bro, it's girls' fault for a lot of the stuff that's happening, bro. Because girls be out there looking, like I said, they be looking like the Joker. And the next girl will be like, slay, slay. Look, she doesn't look good. Why are you telling her to sleep? Come on, let's be honest. You got to be honest sometimes. And they're not even really friends. It's not even saying that to your friend. You're no, saying you're going to give confidence. That's what it is. Yeah, but you, you touched on something, though. And don't be dressing up your youth like, yeah, I'll pick me back. Big no, bro. Like, there's, a, there's a lot of women now. And they're, and they're just, yeah, 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 not even yeah. like just the girl pick. They're doing it like the it's like cool. older man's itself, too. Cut that out. Yeah, for real. No though. need to be doing that. Sure. Let it, let's be honest. No kid is out there trying to rock, saying, yo, I want to rock this Burberry thing. The kid wants to rock the Ninja Turtle shirt that they see. The kid wants to rock P Paw Patrol shoes and shit. Because yeah. that's what they're seeing. Let's keep it 100. You got to have the one, two nice things. No, you got to have the one, two nice things. Yeah, you got to have the one, two nice things. You got to have the one, two nice things. You got to have the one, two nice things. You got to have the one, two nice You have to have your, let your kid, like, have, like, kid. like kid shit. That's what I'm saying, though. Allow, allow, kid allow, allow your kid to be a kid, yo. Some of the things that these kids and decisions these kids are making, they're making it way too premature. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm seeing kids that are like in grade school claiming that their sexuality is this, this, and that. Or that 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 their, their sexual orientation is this, this, and that. Real talk, I can understand you being confused, but to make it a life decision, bro, you can't even get a fucking tattoo, an ear piercing. You can't fucking, like... You can't, you can't, you can't ride the bus by yourself. You can't do mere things. At that age, but you can make a decision to say, yo, this is my sexual orientation, this is my sexual mm. preference in, in, in grade four. Nah, this shit's crazy, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but to me, it just doesn't make sense yeah. that, that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it's, it's, that it's allowed to be that. You know what and I mean? That's the thing, though, is that it's because it, what's assisting it and in a bad way is this new sex curriculum that they're trying to push. 
in the sure. schools right now. Sure. That the, the same thing that you're talking about. That's what they're feeding these kids. It's hundred percent right facts. That's you know what I'm saying? Fact. They're teaching them that they're, it gives them the reason to believe that oh, I could be this or maybe exactly. that is exactly when they should be thinking about stuff. reading and their math. And exactly, like, playing exactly. outside education. Yeah. Right. Let's not even just stick on that. It's just the fact that they want to show kids that at early ages, like regular sex and stuff. And I was like, why are you doing that? When you're seven years old, you don't need to know about sexual shit and gonorrhea and periods. And why are you teaching? girl that and guys that at Corrupt seven eight years old there's so many years apart from learning from even even having that yeah it's correct like, what are you talking about if they stumble upon it they stumble upon it like i happen to stumble upon it young like it just happens like you like these guys are just pushing too much foolishness and that's what yeah you know. and then we're having too many babies and then they're trying to kill the others too so what do they want they're trying to push us to have bear babies and then kill us at the same time like, <laughs> it's, like, oh, like, it's, a, it's a wash up bro you got to understand one thing like these kids and some people coming up in a newer generation are different, bro. Oh, yeah, like, like, no disrespect. Stuff like that, no no disrespect. Like, they're more easily programmed and stuff, you know what I'm saying? For sure. So it's like, in a sense, you kind of want out with Yo, whatever the app they say is popping, all the kids are jumping on that app. Whatever Fact, app quick, say, quick. All the kids are saying. Like, it's easy, but it's hard to go viral with kids, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's easy. Oh, once you, know you do? Like, once you do, it's oh, over. Oh, once you crack that, it's over. Kids, teenagers, because all they do is ask your parents how long they Yo, dog, go any, yo, go anywhere that has like parents or kids and play Baby Shark. Oh man, bro, it's a wrap. Yo, you'll see. Baby I'm not no, it's, it's, it's like it's not even just the like parents, it's not even just the kids. You know, the moms, the dads, the brother, the sister, everybody's jamming the Baby Shark, yo. I remember you first time I seen that shit. I couldn't believe what was going on. Trust I me. didn't know what. Everybody just. The whole room, the trap drop, and the whole room started bopping. I was like, what is going on? Is there a baby trap? Like, yeah, what is going on? The kids jamming with the mom and dad. I'm like, what is going on? It's a takeover team. Take. my under, man. It's, it's a takeover team. Yeah. Tell I me. seen Ocho Cinco and um, Terrell Owens and shit dancing to it, but then I was like, wow, like this shit really hit, bro. Yeah, it hits, though. Like, um, yeah, the kids is wrapped up anything on treehouse all those times they always get wrapped up on fashion i don't know man i'm gonna break the cycle but it is what it is like we said not a lot to talk about this time but we ended up stretching it a little more because you know you gotta get a real nigga talking yeah man i'm right here kicking in his shit like said, some substance for, for y'all bro mm -hmm. so like we said some of the man never started joining back this week and stuff you already know what it is. Actually, your brother, can I have one more thing, yo? Before we finish this, before we wrap this up, yo. Yeah, go ahead, my nigga. Yo, guys. It's happy show, too. I ain't telling, I ain't telling y'all what to do or none of that shit. But all I got to say is, yo, you guys need to stop supporting people that don't support you or your people. Just remember that. Because a lot of these, uh, these, these Instagram pages, Twitter pages, Facebook, all this stuff that you follow and, and help these people make money, they don't fuck with you. Or, or or your cause. So just make sure that, yo, you guys are just spending your time in the right place, yo, because like I was saying earlier, times are changing, so make sure you guys are working towards that, yo. I just feel like I got to tell y'all that, you see? Yeah, Isn't it? Know. Anyways, like we always say, we're going to kicking it. Club Studio 12, you already know. Yeah. Behind the camera. It's going to be dropping his own shit soon. Not podcast shit, but I just want to meet you. Make sure you follow Kicking It with Kilo on YouTube, Spotify, uh, what Apple, else? iTunes. Apple, Apple, Apple iTunes. iTunes. We on Google, Google Play. We on Google Play. We on SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, we out here. We let on hear, YouTube. Let me hear y'all. Let me hear y'all excuse now. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Follow Southside Wave on, on Twitter. On Twitter, you know what I'm saying? All we right. got Sub Zero, uh, Sub Zero Toronto. Toronto. Yes, sir. All right. All right, content coming soon. You already we have no social media behind you. Ah, ah, <laughs> uh, the kid.